So much of what I teach is tools. Tools of process, tools of methodology, tools of strategy are all equally valuable, even though they're not necessarily a tangible thing like a hammer. It's far more valuable to give you useful life skills that apply to my class, but apply way beyond it. Even when I, I'm feeling particularly stressed out with a major project in life, I can break down the problem to small little baby steps to get to the bigger solution. Being able to ask a good question is actually really hard, yeah. and I think that's so valuable in all of your life. Something that makes space so unique is that the rigor comes in more in the process and not just getting the answer, because I feel like it forces us to think about why things work the way that they do, and we can apply that in things outside of math. You never like gave us any straightforward answers when we asked you how to design a lab. You just said, I don't know, maybe <laughs> that might work. But it helped learn how to be an actual chemist. Yes, my role is to give you information but also to think as a chemist for you to see something and be questioning it and be like, oh, but why did this happen? That is motivating to me as a teacher. The learning experiences that I've had that have been the most impactful have almost all been outside of the classroom or very hands-on type of learning. I love being able to kind of connect those pieces for students and, and get them to understand how things work. When I came here, you were telling me, oh, just try this, just see what works, what doesn't work. You were essentially trying to get me out of my comfort zone to try new things and just see what actually happened, rather than what I thought would happen. I wanted to also just inspire students to be curious about the real world, to show them how it works by taking it apart and learning how to build it. The innate curiosity of taking things apart in that tangible way, getting your hands dirty, by just picking things up and messing with them, and making mistakes and putting things on the floor and breaking it. And, that all of those are absolutely valid methods of learning. My biggest goal as a math teacher is to bring out of students their like curiosity and being able to ask a purposeful question that can get you unstuck. And I think that it goes beyond just the help that you give me on the actual math problem, but it's the confidence that you builds within me. And I think that's a tool that I'm gonna forever apply in my life, is being able to find the validation within myself and knowing that even though I'm not a math person, I can still conquer anything.